So we will be seeing some more examples just to see here. Little interesting this is. Uh, let us take we are having a function called void test. See, I, as I told you earlier, I am not going to write all the variables, right? So that is what not our area of interest. Understand. For i is equal to 1, i less than 5, i is equal to i plus 1. Print f a. So this is some logic I used here, right? Next what? For i is equal to 1, i less than n, i is equal to i plus 1. Print f b. Now, please listen carefully. Can you please tell, first loop is repeated how many times? 5 times. First loop is repeated how many times? 5 times. Fine. Second loop is repeated how many times? n times. So, what is the total time this program will take? Can you please tell, 5 plus n of 5 plus n. I hope this is very clear. 5 being a constant, I can replace this with 1. 1 plus n will be converted as what? n. So, what is the time complexity of this one? O of n. The time complexity of this program is what? O of n. Now, listen carefully. Instead of 5, I am going to replace with what? n. I am going to replace with what? n. n. So, this loop will repeat how many times? n times. This loop will repeat how many times? n times. If I am replacing 5 with n, so this loop is repeating n times. So, the, how the time complexity will be there? O of n plus n. That is nothing but what? O of 2n. O of 2n is also what? O of n. O of n. Why 2 is a constant? Every constant is replaced with 1. So, have you noticed this for loop and this for loop are individual loops? Individual loops. If this for loop was within this for loop, then you would have got what? n square. I hope this is very clear, right? Let me take another example and I'll explain so that you'll get clarity. Void. Test for i is equal to 1, i less than 5, i is equal to i plus 1. For i is equal to j is equal to 1, j less than n, j is equal to j plus 1, print f a. This is very important to understand. Okay, fine. Try to understand when the value of i is 1. When the value of i is 1, loop repeated n times. When the value of i is 2, loop repeated n times. When the value of i is 3, loop repeated n times. When the value of i is 4, loop repeated n times. Right? 5 less than 5, false. So, this loop is repeated how many times? 4 into n times. So, what the time complexity? 4 into n. That is nothing but what? O of n. See, even though here you are having a nested loop, even though you are having a nested loop, you are just getting a linear expression, not quadratic expression, not quadratic expression. Why? Because phi being a constant. For example, instead of phi, what I am writing here is less than or equal to, let us take n. If I write less than or equal to n, so what will happen here? So, fifth time also n times repeated, nth time also n times repeated. Means this is repeated how many times? O of n into n. This will become what? O of n square. I hope this is very clear. Right? Fine. Now, let us take another loop so that we will get uh, more clarity. Okay? See here. Void test. Let us take for, don't ask me variables where are, that is not my area of interest, right? 3, i less than or equal to 3, i is equal to i plus 1, i is equal to i plus 1, uh, print f a. Just observe here carefully, for i is equal to 1, i less than 5, i is equal less than or equal to 5, i is equal to i plus 1, for j is equal to 1, j less than or equal to n, j is equal to j plus 1, print fp. Well, so this loop is repeated how many times you understand? This loop is repeated 3 times. This loop is repeated 5 times. For every value of i, this loop is repeated n times. Means, first loop is repeated how many times? 3 times. Plus, so this loop is repeated how many times? n times. n times, how many times outer for loop? 5, 5 times. Means, 5 into n. So, this loop is repeated how many times? 5n plus 3. That is nothing but what? n. 5n plus 3. That is also nothing but what? n. So, first try to understand these are all very important point. O of 5 plus n. 
नेक्स्ट इज वॉट ओ ऑफ टू एन ओ ऑफ फाइव एन प्लस थ्री दीज आर आल दीज आर आल कन्वर्टेड इन टू ईक्वल एंड वाल यू वाट ओ ऑफ एन दीज आर आल कन्वर्ट इन टू वाट ओ ऑफ एन वै बिकॉज फाइव इज ए कॉन्स्टेंट टू इज ए कॉन्स्टेंट फाइव एंड थ्री आर कॉन्स्टेंट आल कॉन्स्टेंट ऐम गुन रीप्लेस ई हॉप दिस इज वेरी क्लियर रईट सो ट्रई टू अंडर्स्टा वेरी इंपारटेंट पॉइंट वाट द टाइम कांप्लेक्स आफ दिस प्रोग्राम ओ आफ एन If here it is phi, the time complex is o of n. If it is n, o of n square, and the time complex of this program is also o of n. Understanding, right? See, if two loops are present, then only multiplication is coming. If two loops are separate, then addition is coming. That is what very important point. I hope this is very clear, right? Next, I'll take another. So, this function, strictly speaking, will execute with what time? Phi n plus three times. But I am going to approximate it to what? O of n, because we are trying to find approximate time, not exact time, right? Fine. Okay. Now I'll be showing you one more example. Better see. Y test. Don't ask me where are the variables. For i is equal to one, i less than or equal to five, i is equal to i plus one. Print of e. Okay, fine. Next for i is equal to one, i less than or equal to four, i is equal to i plus one. For j is equal to one, j less than or equal to n, j is equal to j plus one. Print of p. Okay, fine. Only one statement is said. That is the reason I, I did not use brackets. For k is equal to one, k less than or equal to two, k is equal to k plus one. K is equal to k plus one. Okay, fine. For i is equal to one, i less than or equal to n, i is equal to i plus one. For j is equal to one. J less than or equal to n. J is equal to j plus one. Print of C. Well, completed. Fine. So now we need to estimate this program will take how much time complexity. Okay, it's very easy. See here. This loop is repeated how many times? Five times. This loop is repeated how many times? N times. For every value of i, this loop is repeated n times. So this loop is repeated how many times? Four into n times. This loop is repeated how many times? Four into n times. Next is here. This loop is repeated n times. For every value of i, this loop is repeated n times, and i value will be n. So this loop is repeated how many times? N square times. This loop is repeated how many times? N square times. N square times loop repeated how many times? Two times, right? So this loop is repeated how many times? Two n square times. Now, what will be the total time complexity of this program? The total time complexity of this program will be what? O of. Can you please tell? Two n square. Plus 4n plus 5. This is what we call as a quadratic expression, right? So always we need to take the dominant term. Here, what is the dominant term here? So compared to n square, n is n is a small term. Compared to n, 5 is a constant, small. So this can be converted into what? O of 2n square, right? Because 2n square is the dominating term. Again, 2 being constant, this can be converted as what? O of n square. Always, whenever we are trying to find the time complexity, we are just finding the approximate time, not exact time. Okay, fine. So the time complexity of this program will be what? O of n square. Let us take another program for you people. See here, void test. Try to understand. Like what I am trying to do here is for a is equal to one, a less than or equal to n. A is equal to a plus one. B is equal to a star b. Initially, b is equal to one. B is equal to one. This is little important. Understand? So, what this program will do, we need to know. Let us take n value is four. What is this program intention? We'll see. What is the value of a? Four. B. One. No. A value is also one. And n value is four, right? Now see, one less than or equal to one true. One into one, b value is one. A value will be what? Two. Two less than or equal to four true. Come here. Come here. Understand? Next, two into one, b value will be two. A is equal to a plus one. A value is three. 
3 less than or equal to 4, 3 less than or equal to 4, true. Come here, A value is 3, B value is 2, 3 into 2, 6. So, what is the value of B? 6. A is equal to A plus 1, A value is 4. 4 less than or equal to 4, true. A into B. What is the value of A? Uh, A value is 4, B value is 6. Right? 4 into 6 is how much? 24. Update to B. A is equal to A plus 1, A value is what? 5. So, 5 less than or equal to 4, false. So, A is, this loop is repeated how many times? N times. This loop is repeated how many times? N times. I hope this is very clear. This loop is repeated how many times? N times. Now, try to understand. Once this program is completed, what is the value of P? 24. So, when the value of N was 4, this loop is giving you 4 factorial, right? 4 factorial. Because 4 factorial is 24. 4 factorial is 24. So, after completion of this loop, after completion of this loop, the B value will be 24. B value will be what? 24. Now, what I am trying to do, you know, listen. For a is equal to 1, a less than or equal to b, a is equal to a plus 1. Okay, fine. Next, something like I am writing print of a. This is very important to understand. Can you please tell this loop is repeated how many times? n times. Plus, this loop is repeating how many times? b times. Right? But I want to represent always the... Uh, always I want to represent the time complexity in n form. What is the value of p? B value is nothing but what? If n was 4, B value is 24. If n value is 3, B value is 6. If n value is 5, 120, right? So, B is nothing but n factorial. So, n plus n factorial. So, here n factorial is a dominant term or n is a dominant term. n factorial is a dominant term. So, this can be converted as what? Can you please tell? Uh, n factorial. So, the time complexity of this program is n factorial because this loop will repeat n factorial times. B is obtained from this loop. Here I calculated the factorial that many times I am running. So, we are able to obtain what? n factorial times. Fine. Well, so we have seen multiple type of time complexities. Now we need to write the order, the growth rate actually, right? So based on the length of the input, which is faster, okay? Listen. So first is always O of 1, right? The best time complexity is what? O of 1. So understand, next will be what? O of log log n already we discussed two of log log n also right so next will be what o of log n this also we discussed in your base 2 here also so o of log n base 2 next will be what o of n o of n o of n next will be what o of n log n o of n log n o of n log n will be next what O of n square. O of n square. So this is another time complexity. O of n square. Okay. See, O of n square. O of n log n. O of n. O of log n base two. O of log log n and O of one. And we have seen root n also. You can substitute somewhere. Next, what we have seen? Last one is O of. I did not tell two power n, but you can consider two power n. Next will be what? O of let us take n factorial. Highest is what? n factorial. This is what the time complexity we are getting. So, have you seen? Try to understand. This is very important. Last highest time complexity will be what? O of n factorial. Now, listen. One interesting point I am telling. If there is a algorithm 1, if there is algorithm 1, which is taking this time complexity, if there is some other algorithm, which can run in any one of this case in any one of this case then you need to take algorithm 2 why because o of n is faster than o of n log n right this is a faster growth rate and this is the slower okay i hope this is very clear so let us take if some algorithm is taking o of 2 power n and if any algorithm is taking less than o of 2 power n, then you need to take that algorithm, okay? So, try to understand, very important point, how do I choose an algorithm by using the time complexity, right? So, it's not mandatory, every algorithm will take same time complexity, okay? So, what I mean to say is, if algorithm 1 is taking any one, 
if algorithm 2 is taking behind this you cannot choose that algorithm okay you need to choose always a right side only right this is what the order this is the fastest and that is slower if anything is giving you o of 1 and another solution is giving you o of login we will never take login even login is not considered as a good solution because there is another solution which is giving you o of 1 right so with this we have completed what time complexity next concept will be what space complexity next we are going to discuss space complexity in here okay so the next concept is space complexity